Ever since Guerrilla Tide came out, there's been two different types of players. One, people that play on Quest, and two, people that play on Steam VR. But there's a problem. The problem is that all the Quest players want to play on Steam VR. But is it actually that much better? I've played a lot of both, so I think I have the answer. The first question I should answer is, why do so many Quest players want to play on Steam? The answer is pretty simple, it's just one word actually. Mods. If you were to go into Gorilla Tag and ask someone if they want Steam VR and they said yes, I bet the reason would be because they want mods. I'm not saying they're all cheaters because there's a ton of different mods to try. For example, maybe you want to try custom maps or camera mod or mod menu. There's so much stuff to try with PC VR. It makes sense that they want mods because mods are fun and not all of them are illegal and cheating. Like I'm playing at a custom map right now, but I'm not getting banned because it's not illegal because it doesn't work in public. Also a lot of people that make YouTube videos want PCs because they can use camera mod and it's higher quality for videos. But at the same time, it has some problems. If you're native to Steam VR and you've played it a lot, you know what I mean when I say that it has a lot of bugs. When an update comes out, Quest or Steam VR, they always have bugs when they come out, which makes sense because it just came out. And Lemming is good at fixing those updates fast, usually those bugs only last for a day on Quest. But after playing on both for a long time, it seems that Steam VR just gets a lot more bugs and it takes longer for them to be fixed. When the Christmas update came out, they brought the snow globe back. But, if you were to go into the tunnel into the snow globe, you could only see the mountains and the trees with one eye. That's not a horrible bug, but still, it took five days just to fix something that minor. Also, I'm not blaming the Gorilla Tag team because it's really hard to make games like this and to fix updates that fast for both versions, so I'm not complaining about that. The next problem with Steam VR is face cosmetics are really broken. For example, watch what happens when I put on these 2024 glasses. It's not supposed to be like this. Like, if someone wants to wear a face cosmetic but it's broken, then there's nothing they can even do about it. Now, I don't think a huge amount of face cosmetics are broken, I just know that some of them are. It's mostly the limited time ones. The next problem actually has something to do with modding. The problem is that anyone that knows how to make mods could make them into a virus. And if you get a virus, it depends on what it actually does, but it could be pretty bad. There's a lot of stories of people getting viruses from mods, like there have been mod menus that came out that were secretly taking info from people, but that shouldn't really be a problem because you shouldn't be downloading illegal mods anyway. Right? This problem is not as bad though, because if you're not downloading illegal mods and you're actually getting them from Gorilla Tech Discord, then you'll be fine. Except in theory, anyone with C Sharp experience could make a mod, so anyone could do that. The last difference between Quest and Steam is that PC VR Gorilla Tag costs $20. Gorilla Tag used to be free on PC, but they had to change it. The reason that they had to change it was because so many people were getting Steam VR just for illegal mods, but if they got banned, they could just buy it on another account for free. So it was like the easiest way ever to just completely evade bans. But they changed it now, so if you get banned, you can't just buy it again, because you have to pay $20 for an account you only use for the length of your ban. And you might get banned on that account, then you have to fork over another $20. Whether you want to get Steam VR for cheating or not, you still have to pay $20 because of the cheaters. That's one of the reasons we don't like them so much. I also don't like them because of all these reasons though. Here's what I think. I think it depends on what you want to do. If you want it because you're a YouTuber and you want to make higher quality content, then it is so much better and so much more worth it. But if you want it because you want to play competitive Gorilla Tag on PC, it's not really as worth it because you have to pay $20 and the movement's really broken. But if you just want a mod, legally of course, then it is worth it because mods are really fun, legal ones, and they enhance the game. 